Hi everyone, it's Megan with Teach Me ABA and I wanted to talk to you today about our presentation that we'll be giving at the first ever online ABAI convention. Brittany and I will be presenting on May 22nd, which is Friday, from 4 to 7 o'clock Eastern Time and 1 to 4 o'clock Pacific Time. During our workshop, we'll be talking about teaching different types of mans, so mans for items, actions, attention, mans for missing items, which can be complicated, and even more complicated, we'll be talking about mans for information. So that's asking questions like who, where, and we'll even touch on why, which is the most complex of all. We'll also be talking about Kayo Miguel's interpretation of Jack Michael's teachings of how man should be generalized across motivating operations, not just stimulus conditions. Many people overlook the importance of teaching mans across different motivating operations. They know they should generalize mans to different people, the children should be able to ask for things from their parents, from their teachers, go to the store and ask for something, but it's often overlooked that we need to teach them to ask for that same item across different motivational conditions. So sometimes you might need a spoon to eat some cereal, but you may also need a spoon to stir while you're cooking. This is often overlooked and children, with, especially with autism or other developmental disabilities, may not naturally exhibit this type of generalization. During our presentation, we'll be talking about all sorts of mans. Mans for items. Can I have the camera? Um, can I have the camera, please? Actions. All right, tickles, 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 tickles. <laughs> I want more tickles. I want more tickles. Okay! <laughs> Attention. Yeah, we, I'll be really busy. Mm hmm Yeah. Oh, one second. Could you help me with something, please? Sure! Man's to remove a verse. You're going to have the prettiest braid ever. Oh, you can say stop, please. Stop, please. And my personal favorite, Mans for Information. We'll be reviewing how to teach children to ask who, where, and why. We've also worked with the people at ABAI to allow our attendees to practice developing teaching procedures for these different types of mans for, with one another. So along with just getting lecture from us, we'll also be there to coach you through how to actually run this and program for this so that you're prepared to go use this with your clients. Most people know that an establishing operation needs to be in place before a child mans. We'll also review the different types of motivating operations and how to incorporate them into your teaching procedures. This workshop will be great for beginners who are just starting to dip their toes into teaching verbal behavior, but it'll also be great for the seasoned behavior analyst who may want to know how they actually should be teaching mans for information. Many behavior analysts have issues with their clients asking for items when they may actually want attention rather than the item. This is because you're not incorporating abolishing operations into your teaching procedures. So we'll also be discussing the importance of abolishing operations and putting controls in place while you're teaching your clients. I don't know about you, but all this talk about MANS has really contrived an MO for me to attend the first ever online ABAI convention. For details about how to register for our workshop, look at the notes below. Thanks.